So in this third example, we're going to be using a pre-built text analytics package using exactly the procedures and techniques that I showed you earlier on. In this case, we're calling up the text analytics package. We're going to be running it. You can see the effects of it and test out how accurately it categorizes the responses. What we'll note from this uh, particular run is that once again, it begins the extraction process. We're going to have a number of types that we can call and use. Some of them are ones which we have created ourselves and some of them are ones which have shipped with the, uh, the, the original resource template. But also note that the categories themselves are being displayed now because they were part of the text analytics package. And we can see the categories that I've created earlier on. So I've got categories called fuel, ones related to upgrade, positive pricing, negative pricing, sentiment, um, information, uh, collection and drop off, and just people who say there was no problem uh, at all with, uh, with the service that they had. We can score the data and see how many records fall within the various categories. Note, of course, that the categories relate to both just subject areas on their own, but also the sentiment associated with those subject areas. If we look at some of the most populous categories, such as positive customer service here and hit display, we can see how well it's actually categorized some of the responses. So here we have looking at the third one, no wait for pickup and drop off is great. Help with the luggage, face to face directions to hotel recommended entertainment for area and that has fallen into the categories collection and drop off information positive customer service and luggage so this is a much more uh, consistent and a much more accurate rendering of the categorization process and it's one which we could reuse again and again by generating a text analytics model if we generate that model from this point we'll be able to actually use this categorization process on new data and uh, accurately categorize it as and when that new data becomes available. So in this final example, we can use the model that we just generated uh, from our pre-built uh, text analytics package categories in the third, uh, in the third example we've shown there. And we can uh, attach this model to fresh data, to new data and see the effect uh, of, of the categorization process. If I double click on the model, it'll add it to the, uh, to the stream itself. And I'll just unconnect it from the, uh, from the source node. And in fact, I'll use a different source node. Here's a source node that I've got down here. This is called the user input node. And I can connect that to our pre-built model. And if I right click on the user input node and show you what's actually in there, we can see that there's just one case within that. So it's a simulated case. We can, we can use this to perform what if analysis and we can see that the case is saying in general the service was pretty good. I didn't have to wait too long. The price was cheap and I was able to pick up the car quickly from the airport. Now if I run that down through the, uh, the uh, actual generated model, let's see how, what it produces and how it actually categorizes the data. I'll attach a table node onto the end of it and we'll produce one row of data from this showing the original response in general services pretty good etc and then we have the categories themselves that appear as binary fields with trues and falses to say whether or not that uh, particular response fell into any of these categories so we can see that this one fell into the category wait times fell into the category collection and drop off fell into the category air travel as well as a uh, positive customer service because they were being pretty positive about it and also positive pricing because they said that, uh, they said that uh, the price was cheap. So there we can see the effects of uh, running a pre-built uh, text analytics package on some, uh, some unstructured data to effectively categorize the, uh, the responses in order to generate a model so that we can categorize completely new data on an ongoing basis.